What's up, cooks? It's Wednesday. So we are in the beginning of our big move, and let me tell you, I am totally and completely exhausted. We started to move Pan Cave, Pan Room 2, which is the basement. We've moved about 50 boxes, and um, I'm already done with this, right? I want this move to be finished. Um, I just wanted to update you. It's Wednesday. I wanted to show you what's going on down there in Pan Cave 2, what we've been up to, and um, how it's going along. So join me. Let's uh, do a little update on uh, the move. It is Wednesday. <music> So what stand mixer ended up in the house first? Well, it's mainly because of the way it was packed, but it is the Hamilton Beach. So far, this is what I've done to the kitchen. Nothing. <laughs> Pretty much nothing. It's all good. Okay, we're going to empty some of this out into flash. Now that's a double pan whammy right there. We got the Brava and the Chef IQ on the back of Flash. So we're, uh, Flash is earning his keep on the homestead. <laughs> tent in to the basement. You see that over there? That's Eric's dolly that fell off a flash it, right next to the sewer. But it's holding on to the box though. Sweet. Somewhere we lost a box and part of the thing. What? Ooh. <laughs> uh oh. Yeah, I am. So, this is the start of Pan Room 2. Ooh, it's hot out there. So, this is the basement. It's 1,600 square feet, and this will be Pan Room 2. So, we have a room back there that is an unfinished section of the basement, and I'll show you that. Um, a few people have asked me about this, about security. We have a full alarm system with um, window breaks as well as motion detectors in here and cameras on the door. So if you come anywhere near this room, I'm going to be able to see you on my phone. The cops are going to be able to hear you and it's on, right? So I'm not too worried about that. Um, there's big windows here. And so I brought over a few things. We see some Christmas items in here. I'm obviously going to have my Christmas stuff in here. The lights aren't on in here. I didn't turn them on. These are like little lights if you want to have a pool table down here. So this side of the basement is a big open area. This is where I think I'm going to put most of my shelving um, for the pan room too. Yeah, so known as the pan cave. So far, this is what we've moved in here. Not a lot yet. There's also a little bathroom in here. The light isn't on. There's that section as well. In this area is an unfinished area. I currently have my grow lights up here. All the wiring and stuff is in here. We got some electrical equipment, the heater, the water heater water softener some stuff for our well system is also in here and i'm starting to bring in my grow tents and my gardening equipment i don't know what kind of carpet is down on here it's basically cement and they put some remnants in here um, lots of wiring so this is 
like completely unfinished. I think this room here is like 400 square feet maybe. So in here we have stuff for the well. Have no idea what this is, if anybody knows. Um, and you got that. You got some, I don't know what this is. Some of these might be like a sump pump. That is something else. Water heater is a whirlpool and it's all electronic. And that's the water softener because apparently we have hard water here. Yeah. And then we have the heating system. And I guess, I don't know. I don't know anything about this. So that's the rest of the basement. Ooh, I guess it's better with the lighting in here. So it has all recessed lighting already um, hooked up. And I have a little library card over there for my books. So down in this area, there is a restroom um, with a sink and a mirror um, for your convenience. We have these two windows. I think this area in here is gonna be my library. It's actually a lot bigger than it was. Uber over here. Where would you like your delivery? Um, put it over there, sir. Or you won't get a tip. Oh, I've got a tip. Don't take wooden nickels from Amy. Eric got a, <laughs> a new hat. So he looks like a true um, homesteader. This side here, too, has some um, recess lighting. So I'm thinking this is going to be the library. Not sure what I'm going to do with the shelving. I have a big wall unit shelf for here. I have a couple other shelves for there. And I'm going to put a table in here with some benches for uh, studying. There is a very long uh, stairway here. These ceilings for a basement are really high. It has higher ceilings than even some regular rooms, like living rooms. So you could have a big theater down here. You just have taller racks. Right, Panhole, yeah. We can get a forklift in here, baby. Beep, beep, you could beep. get a forklift in here. So this is sort of like your classic basement. It's divided by the stairwell, um, which makes it good because it's going to be pan room two and the cookbook library. I'm sort of winded because it's hot. Restroom and then the unfinished area. So this floor is 1,600 square feet of pure pan goodness. A few people have asked me about these lights on Facebook. They're kind of neat. How about? Sure. It's like 8,000 um, light switches here. I don't know how to turn those on. Over there. That's right. There's two light switches over here. I bet you one's going to do it. I have a foosball table, so maybe that will go under here. Oh my gosh, is this going to make a camera? <laughs> yeah! Those are pretty cool. Perfect for a pool table. And there's my pumpkins. So we labeled all the boxes PR2 that are coming down here to the pan room too. Don't worry, it's going to fill up very quickly, Bobo. Yeah. This is just beginning. It's going to be a hot mess up here in a minute. Bring it on in, Bill. It's the Brava and Instapot. What else you got there? Those are my pumpkins! And there is a dehydrator. Here's some Christmas stuff. And a bunch of miscellaneous boxes. Here's some of my fall decor. But this right here, I would say is about a quarter of pan room two. <laughs> it's pretty much going to take me forever to move because I spend all my time out here enjoying this beautiful property and I don't hardly want to go pack. I just want to stay out here and relax. 
So I need to get it together because I spend all my time just <laughs> just looking at the scenery and looking at those blue mountains. I'm not spending too much time doing what I need to do. So so cooks what's up it's wednesday i am so hot out here and we've been working all day and i'm ready to go in and have a cold drink um we have one load left in the rv we put some boxes in here the other day because we didn't have a chance to move them around but we're doing that today and as soon as he wraps up eric's going to mow the lawn and we're going to get out of here um hope you have a great wednesday and hang with me we will be back cooking again uh, shortly we just got to get everything set up so one day at a time right I'm getting it done if you like this video please join us on our journey to not only reset up our house and kitchen but learn to be better cooks also you can visit me on my website amylearnstocook.com and all my social media links woo, are down below <laughs> so have a great Wednesday and I'll see you guys